Hey, this is Ryan from Web Eminence. This video is gonna answer one of the viewer comments in this a recent video I did on Divi mobile responsive changes. So here's the comment down here. It says, thank you for the video. I'm an amateur designer just used to create websites for my business. I use Divi for creating a desktop version and the trickiest thing I find so far is to figure out the margins and the way elements can be moved around. The mobile version of the testimonial page I made looks very strange in mobile mode and I can't figure out how to fix it properly. If you have a video describing the difference between the various types of fields, margins, padding, etc., for a foreigner it is too complex to guess the terminology intuitively. So even though this was a comment on my video having to do with Divi mobile responsive editing. This applies to the Divi builder in general. So I think it's a good question and a good thing to cover in this short video. Although Divi is designed to be a do-it-yourself builder for amateur website builders like this commenter, the Divi builder is built around common HTML and CSS properties like margin and padding. But don't worry if you're not an HTML expert, I'm gonna explain the ways you can use margin and padding in the Divi builder in this video. So I'm gonna head over to this page that I've been working on. This is the Divi Visual Builder, and I'm just gonna focus on this text module here. Although you can use these spacing settings in pretty much any element within the Divi Builder, whether it's row, an entire section, a button, a heading, an image, they can all be spaced out using these properties. And the way to find these properties would be to go into the settings for this text module. So you could double click, and once you get these buttons to pop up, you can click module settings. That's gonna pop up the text settings. And then to find these spacing properties, you go to design and then click on the spacing dropdown and then you're gonna get margin and padding. So again, margin and padding are common HTML, CSS properties. It's somewhat assumed that people know what these are, but if you don't know, you can click on the question icon and you're gonna learn that margin adds extra space to the outside of an element, increasing the distance between the element and other items on the page, whereas padding adds extra space to the inside of the element, increasing the distance between the edge of the element and its inner content. So padding is inside an element, margin is outside an element. So those are somewhat intuitive terms, but it's good to understand how they work. It's gonna help you build within the Divi Builder much faster. So to understand padding and margin and to visualize them, it's helpful to add a border. So I'm just gonna add a border to this text module and then go back up to spacing. There's a few ways to add spacing. You could just type in like 10 pixels, for example, which would be 10 PX. If you type in a 10 and then just press enter, it's gonna add the PX, that's the default spacing unit. And actually let's go a little larger just so we can visualize it better. So here we have 50. You can actually click this constrain icon to link these two together so that they'll change together. So if I make this 70, it'll make the top 70. So it's adding margin above and below the element. You can also use these sliders here and we can see it in real time adding above and below. We can click this again to unconstrain these two properties and then you'll see the bottom increase and decrease. We can also add margin to the left and the right. Keep in mind that you can use other units. So these would be fixed units, but there are times that I use proportional units like a viewport width, for example, that sometimes works well for editing on mobile because it'll shrink or grow. It'll, it'll set the unit proportional to the size of the window basically. But for the purposes of this video, I'm just gonna use pixels so that I can explain the concept. So that's margin, but before we jump down into padding, I do wanna show you the other way to control this in the Divi Builder. So I would have to close out that module settings box and then I could go into the visual builder. And if you click on this text element again, you'll see these sliders pop up as you scroll. So if I go inside the element, I'll be able to control the padding, which I'm gonna show you next. But if I'm right outside, I'll be able to control the margin. And I could actually click this little icon here to again, constrain or unconstrain the units. It's sometimes hard to grab this icon because it disappears. I kind of wish that they'd fix that, but there must be a reason. Sometimes you just have to do it fast. There, I got it. So it's constrained and you can do the same with padding. But if we open up the settings again, go to spacing, padding again is inside. So we already have 42, I can constrain these and you'll see it changes the padding, the spacing inside the element. And I could do left and right and constrain those. 
to some degree margin and padding do the same thing but if you have an outside element or like a border element for example then it would make sense to use padding just to add some spacing between the border and the the text inside the element so those are the basics of margin and padding how they're used in the divi builder I'm sure that brings up other questions, so feel free to comment. I'll go ahead and link to one of my other Divi videos and we'll see you there.